Such a small brain for such a big responsibility. Is it going to be six weeks more of winter or is it going to be an early spring? Dave Brumfield, a naturalist with the Summit County Parks, is a bit of a groundhog expert. German tradition holds that the sun comes out on February 2nd, the Christian holiday candle mass. The old world Europeans used several animals on this day. Some used a hedgehog, some used a badger, some was even a bear. These animals were not readily available in 1887 for the immigrant Germans in Punxsutawney, PA. So they formed a club that carried a groundhog up to Gobbler's Knob and proclaimed Phil as the only official weather prognosticator. And he talks. There's a special language between these uh, uh, individuals of the club and also uh, the groundhog. Maybe it sounds like... <laughs> Most groundhogs only live five to seven years, but Phil is close to 125 years old. It could be because he lives in the Punxsutawney Library 364 days a year, or maybe it's the magic elixir. They got this special little uh, mix of uh, drink that they give him every year, and it adds seven years to his life. They claim that he never uh, dies, and so he's the same one. With all those years of wisdom, you would think Phil would be as accurate as, say, Mark Johnson. Groundhogs are kind of cute and cuddly, all right? They got big buck teeth, but as far as forecasting the weather, uh -uh. If you lived in uh, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, it'd be 100% of the time, okay? He's always right. Yes. Uh, Phil does not make mistakes. And the groundhog gets a day, they wake him up, they give him a big party, and he's wrong 33% of the time. Then they throw him back in, he goes to bed. Sounds controversial, so I asked our groundhog expert which forecast he would follow. Mark is probably a little bit more accurate, okay? He's got much greater technology today to be able to forecast weather. In Mark's prediction? It will be an early spring. Just like the old world Europeans, America loves her holiday traditions. Happy Groundhog Day, Rich Geyser, News Channel 5.